do, 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 do. Just going live randomly, y'all. Just saying what's up. I'm going to do a quick little giveaway. I'm just playing around in my, this is my dining room area. I'm going to put it like a backdrop in back of me. Um, but I just wanted to see, obviously, I need to get a better webcam. <laughs> anyway, if you can hear me, say what's up. But I'm doing this off my desktop, guys, so I could actually type to you guys, hey, tell me if you can hear me. Hey, Tina, what's good? Sandy, Faith, what's going on? I'm just going live randomly, y'all. Just saying what's up to you guys. Miss Queen's in the house. Tiffany, I see you. Kathy. Okay, Tim, okay. Ms. Hogg, okay, I see you, I see you. I'm on my desktop, guys. I never really went live on my desktop before. So I'm just trying it out. So I, I can see right now I need a better webcam. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. All right, we got 39 people in the house. Okay, okay. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. So. I'm going to chit-chat with y'all real quick, but I want to let y'all know. I don't want to keep y'all in suspense. I'm going to do a quick giveaway. This is a three-quart Cook's Essentials pressure cooker. I was going to give it to Goodwill, but I'm going to give it away at some point in the, like the next five to ten minutes. Let some people get a chance to come in here. Let me read. So this is the first time I'm on my desktop, so I could actually look at the comments better. On a, It's on a 40-inch screen. So I can see, I just wanted to experience that. Doing good. Okay, Kathy, I see you. So anyway, before we even uh, start the giveaway, have you guys got a chance to look at the new Ninja pro new ninja lineup coming out? I'm gonna be getting the dual air fryer. I know they got a new Ninja Foodie out. They got a new Ninja Smart Oven. They got a new Ninja Foodie Grill. Did any of y'all get a chance to check, take a look at that yet? Doug, I just got French stick sauce. I'll mail. Thank you. Okay, Shonda, I see you. Okay, okay, I'm glad. Yes, I'm glad. Happy you got it. You're gonna love it. I think you got the buffalo one, right? If I'm not mistaken. Okay. I just got all of the old ones. <laughs> you know how ninja do though. That's why ninja always upgrading, especially their blenders. It's crazy, but um, they're gonna send me the um, the dual the the dual air fryer, so I'm gonna check that. I don't know when I'm gonna get it. Probably within the next week or two. I I think it's in stores now. I think it's at Sam's, but I mean I'm getting it for free, so I'll just wait. <laughs> Haven't used Ninja Prize. Ninja Prize is okay. I think well for me, I think the Ninja Foodie was revolutionary. I mean, I don't know if it wasn't for the Ninja Foodie, I don't know if I would if I would have any Ninja products at this point. But the Ninja Foodie opened my eyes to them and you know, then the Ninja Foodie grill came out, so it was cool. So since I have, what, 41 of you here, let me know what type of videos you wanna see me do next. Like what gadget you want me to use? What do you want me to cook? Blah, blah, blah. I just wanna get a Ninja Foodie is awesome, yeah. Ninja Foodie is awesome. When I first saw it, I knew it was a game changer. I knew it. That's why I jumped on it. But you know, you guys, I like gadgets, so I, I'm not particular with Ninja or Kasori or whatever. Whatever's hot, I want it. So, hey, NC girl now living in Florida. Okay, what part of Florida? Small air fryers. Well, they are. They got a bunch of small air fryers out already. Shoot. More on the Blackstone. Okay, I could do that. I could do that. What's up, smoking loud? Okay. Shirley, Shirley's in the house. I appreciate you joining. 
I'm just having fun, Charlotte. I'm on my desktop, so now I can see the comments better. So I just wanted to, I'm just really just on here to see how my webcam looks. This is on my web, webcam that I used to have at my job when I used to work at home. But it's, it's a low quality one. So obviously I need to get a better webcam. And I have a little light here. That's pretty good because my light up there is too bright. And then I'm going to get a backdrop here because I want to start going live. And this is in my dining room area. This is my exercise machine. I'm going to do a video on that. I just got my Nordic track. Y'all. Shout out to everyone with the Nordic track. Um, but I'm going to put a backdrop back here so you can't see all of that. But I just wanted to test it out. All right. So what are you guys saying? Stop using the stove and all my friends. <laughs> I know that's right. Soups is great. You know, I need to get into that. I don't really, my mom made a lot of soups, but I'm not really, I don't really make soup. So chicken and dumpling. Okay. Okay. That's it. Let me write that down. Chicken and dumpling. I could do that. I, You know, that's a, that's a good look, Carolyn, because I've never done that on camera before. The quality is not bad at all. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad, but I mean, you know, I'm approaching 100K. I mean, I guess I should, you know what I'm saying? I'm very critical of myself sometimes. So I could do better. I could afford better. I'll do better. <laughs> but I'm just trying it out. I've never, like I said, when I used to work at home back there, so I wouldn't do it for, you know, uh, legal purposes. I wouldn't go live on my desktop because it would show where I work in the back there and I didn't want to get in trouble at my job. But since it's not there, I figured I'd try it out. All right, so let's see. Hi, everyone. Joanne, what's up? Just remember that Doug is allergic to, yeah. I'm sorry, guys, I wish. But I think in the future, I, what I'm gonna do is have maybe a lady friend come through or whatever, and I'll start cooking fish and have, have her taste it on camera or something. <laughs> or verify that it tastes good. Shells for your gear. Okay. Okay. You're fine. I can see you fine. Okay. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Hey, Miss, what is it? Miss Minnie? Okay. 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 Yeah, but I do need to start making soups. I think the only soup I've ever made on camera was chicken noodle soup. So I can make a whole bunch of different soups. Oh, I could try to make it. Soups are not so hard. You just put the liquid in, throw the sauces in, I mean the seasonings in and pressure cook it forever, how long? You should do cook alongs. Okay. Do you, do you use smoked bowl with, what is it? Greens and collards, okay. I haven't done that yet. Smoked greens and collards, that, that sounds good. Would love to see you make some old fashioned ham and beans. Okay. I could do that. I could definitely do that. That sounds good. Let me write that down. Smoke. Those are some good ideas, y'all. I like that. All right. How many people? We got 57 people in there. All right. That's enough. All right. Let me show y'all again for those who didn't see it. I'm going to be giving this away. This is a three quart Cook's Essentials pressure cooker. Now, the reason why I'm giving it away is because I have two, I now own two Instant Pot minis, one for outside and one for in my kitchen. I have an Ultra in my kitchen, and then I have the Nova, Instant Pot Nova for outside. I keep it inside by the door, but it is for outside. Dale, what's going on? Thanks, Carolyn. I appreciate it. Okay. So in the next three minutes, let me let me hold on. Let me let me let me get my stopwatch here. Actually, I bought a stopwatch, but I, I didn't I didn't um set it up yet. But so I'll just do the one in my phone. Hold on, y'all. Where is it? Stopwatch. There we go. Okay, in the next three minutes, tell me what, why you want this three quart pressure cooker. Tell me what you'd make in it, starting now. Let's see if my eyes, let's see if I can pick a good winner. 
Yeah, I've done smash burgers. But I'll do another smash burgers too. I mean, you can never, I mean, on the Blackstone, that seems, it's like what? Smash burgers, steaks, bacon. <laughs> it's like three things, three or four things that you can't get enough of. It's like air fryer and chicken wings. It's, it's like a thousand chicken wing, chicken wing videos and you can't get enough. Shout out to Miss Brazil on that anyway. She's the queen. Mexican food, okay. I'm trying. You see me. You see me on my guacamole kick, my uh, avocado kick. I would make beef stew. Okay, would be great for us. Uh, okay. Smaller meals. Okay. And I know it looks a little dark, guys. I just I don't have my overhead light on because it was too bright. I just have one of these little camera video filming lights on them. <clears throat> Ooh, oxtails, okay. Jerky. I've got a minute and a half left. Let me scroll up. That's a good one. Hey, Griselda. It's an interesting name. Diamond Cut was good. Make sure y'all hit that like button too. Let YouTube know we in here. All right, so we got less than one minute left. Appreciate y'all. Mm, 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 mm. mm, y'all making me hungry. I think I had my dinner too early. <laughs> I hate when I do that. Because probably by one o'clock I, I I'm not gonna be able to help myself. I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go pick up something probably. All right, we got 15 seconds. Spaghetti. <laughs> Miss Hog. Shout out to Miss Hog one time. I'll be seeing you in my live, but I appreciate you. Carol. Hmm. Okay. Time is up. And now I get to type the winner. Did I even write it down right? I don't know. But Dante Wallace is the winner. Yay! You said curry goat. That that uh that got me. Because I miss my mom's curry goat. In fact, when I go down there next, I'm gonna ask her to make me some curry goat. I haven't had a curry goat in a year and a half. I don't make it, but so congratulations, Dante Wallace if I'm pronouncing it right, you are the winner. So Dante, if you are in any of my Facebook groups, definitely private message me, that's the easiest way. If not, you could reach me on, on my email address on my YouTube um, you know, front page and it'll, give, it'll, it'll let you know my email address and then you can email me your, um, your information. And just, just for my knowledge, Dante, what is your first name? Is that your first name? But just in case, if it's not, tell me your first name, just in case if I get an email from somebody when, you, when your real name is like, you know what I'm saying, Rachel Williams, I won't be looking crazy. I'm like, is this really the winner? So Dante, if you could just tell me your first name, your real first name, not your last name, just your real first name. But if Dante's your first name, that's cool. I just want to know because sometimes your YouTube name is not your real name. And I ain't sending out two. <laughs> yeah. So it's cool. So you guys had some really cool suggestions, though. I bl definitely plan to do some more Blackstone. Oh, so Dante. So Dante, your, your your first name. Yeah. 
Okay. All right. Good. Are you in any of my Facebook groups? You know what? Let, let me let me ask y'all this since y'all there because y'all are my peoples because you I didn't say I was going live and y'all here. So to me, y'all are my peoples. So out of the people here, hit one if you're in any of my Facebook groups. Hit one. You don't have to be, but just hit one if you're in any of my Facebook groups. And hit zero if you're not. One if you're in my Facebook group, zero if you're not. I just want to see. Oh, Karen, Karen's in the house. What's up, Karen? I see you, boo. Karen Williams in the house. Okay. Okay. I always wondered that. Okay, y'all, y'all in the house. Okay, okay, okay. My feed is almost one minute gone. Oh, wow. Just joining. What's up, Tiffany? I see you, boo. Okay, so most of y'all are in my groups. Okay, that's 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 a good thing, because I always wondered that. Not to say if you're not in my groups, I, I don't mind. As long as you watch my videos, I don't care which either one. But I will say to the people that are not in my Facebook groups, you are kind of missing. I know Facebook is annoying. And if I can personally cancel my personal Facebook groups, but stay in my groups, I would do it because I can't, I don't wish to talk to any of my personal family and all that stuff any, any longer on Facebook. I just, I just have it because I, I have to have it to, um, you know, partake in my groups. But if you can, Try and join because there's a lot of information that you guys are missing. A lot of new gadgets that might come out because I, I don't get everything. Like, for instance, in my kitchen gadgets group, I don't get everything that they get. I get maybe 50 percent because I don't want everything at this point. You know what I'm saying? I only at this point, I only, you know, get stuff that I'm passionate about. If I'm not passionate about it, I don't want it. I don't care if it's Kunumunu company or Ninja or. Kasori or butt heads are us. If I like it, I'm gonna do 15 videos on it. So if you can consider joining the groups because you might, you, you know, you get a lot of recipes, a lot of stuff that I don't cook. A lot of people in my pressure cooker group make soups all day. I don't make soups, but they do. So if you can, all right, Tina, awesome groups. Are, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so you, you guys want me on the Blackstone. You want me to do chicken and dumplings. Okay, okay. Okay, I could do that. You guys want me to do anything you want me to do in the air fryer? They are great recipes in the group. Yeah, they are. And to be honest with you, half my videos, not half, but a good percentage of them, I look in the group and see what they make. Like if I, like say if I'm making not mac and cheese, but let's say, um, I don't know, chicken and broccoli. I'll look in my pressure cooker group and see what everyone did, and I'll just compare notes and then just go for it. Because you can use the search button and get a lot of recipes. But, but shout out to everybody in this chat right now, though. I appreciate it. Because um, like I said, y'all my people's right there. Bake, yeah, I, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at it. But I am going to do stuff like, um, for the newbies, I am going to do like bagels and stuff like air fried bagels. Uh, maybe do a, like a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. I did that a while ago, but I'm going to reintroduce that because a lot of people don't know they can make bagels in the air fryer. Air fryer pork, pork belly. Okay. Air fryer, was it chumos? Chum, however, however you pronounce that. Other videos. Durham. Oh, shout out to, okay. Shout out to Eddie one time. In North Carolina. Anybody else in North Carolina? I'm in Greensboro, if you have whoever didn't know. I've been living here for about fifth about 16 years now. Okay, so yeah, I got some good suggestions tonight. Oh, so tell me what you think about this. Like you see how I just gave away this pressure cooker. Let's see what you I gotta eat more. 
healthier. I know that's right. Yeah, Tiffany. Yeah, you you see me with the cauliflower rice and stuff. Yeah, that's that's me eating healthier too. But um, what do you think about me? I want to do more giveaways on stuff because, like, what I do, I give a lot of stuff to Goodwill. But I, I don't know. I'm going to continue to give stuff to Goodwill. Yo, my stuff, when I bring my stuff to Goodwill, it'd be gone in like two days. And that makes me happy because I'm making them money and somebody's getting a great gadget for the low. But I also want to come on here. What do you guys think about me like popping up doing uh, giveaways of used products that I had for like a month or so? What's up, Doug? Love your videos. Thank you. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate that. Air fried donuts. Okay. And that'll come right after the bagels. Appreciate that. Shout to Dale one time. Tiffany, yes. Pop up with you. Okay. All right. I'm going to do that. Because I'd rather give, I mean, I, it's a mixed bag. I'd rather give some to give uh, Goodwill and I'd rather give some to you guys. But some people don't like used products and stuff. But you know, as you know, I don't, some of my stuff, like this pressure cooker, I've used it all of three times. You know, I don't use stuff quick. I just, I'll be on to the next. And guys, don't get mad when I get something new. Like I'm, I'm like a bad boyfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like six months with a gadget, I'm already ready. I'm ready to move on. So I'm not particularly saying follow me and get a new product. My job in my mind is to show you the new. I'm not so, if you see me getting new stuff every month, I'm not saying go and buy it every month. You can, for sure. But I'm just saying my job in my mind is to show you what's new and what's good, that what I think is good. So, great content, Miss Brazil. Yeah, shout out to Miss Brazil one time. That's the homie. Booger 500. Who else is my peeps? Um, let's see. Cooking with CJ uh, off the top of my head. Um, Mel Simple Meals. Amy Learns to Cook. Um, shout out to Amy one time, too. I haven't talked to her. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit her up. I haven't talked to her in a while, personally. Sis M's in the house. What's up, boo? I see you. Um, two Sleevers. Irvishy. Um Cheryl, what's her good? What's her Cheryl? Shout out to Cheryl. Um, what's her? What's her? What's her? What's her name? I'm forgetting. But let's see what else you got. Great idea. Hi, Doug. Quitter. Is that if I'm pronouncing it right? What's good? So yeah, I'm going to yeah. I plan to do some more pop ups for you guys. I think that would be cool, and it'll be it's going to be random, just like this. So the next time I do it, so the next giveaway I'm going to have is when I hit 100K, which, I'm, which, which should happen in the next three weeks. Yeah, and I'm going to announce that. I'm going to give you like a week in advance, and I'm giving away. It'll be some Ninja products given away. It'll be some Kasori products given away. It will be some, a whole bunch of stuff. It'll be a lot of stuff, these companies. Um, oh, uh, what is it? Jamaican Choice, they're giving me a whole bunch of sauces and seasonings to give away. So it's, it should be great. But I'm going to give you all a week event, so don't worry about that. I'm going to give you notice on that because um, – and that's going to be like an hour, two uh, two hours long video because I'm, I'm going to be so happy. Corned beef brisket would be good. Okay. And y'all keep typing because, you know, you know, when I go live, I actually review what you guys watch. So I know like in the past, you know, sometimes I can't answer all your questions or I don't see it because um, in the past I'd be watching on my little tablet. I'm, I'm watching on a 40 inch screen now so I could see a lot better. But um, I do go back and look at my live. So stuff that you say, don't think you I missed it. I, I go back and watch it uh, and look at it. I'm focused on the Ninja Dual Air Fryer. OK. Yeah, I'm going to show it to you. You know how I do, guys. Just expect off gate I'm doing 12 videos. Just I'm just telling you that now. I already I already thought of four recipes that I'm doing. Dual. So just know within two months, you're going to see about 12 videos. And then I'll give you my final, <laughs> final thoughts. <laughs> 
but I, I think overall, I think the dual air fryer is cool. It's something new. Um, well, is it going to blow your socks off? Probably not. But is it something that some of you, I think, can add value to your kitchen? Yeah. Cooking things at the time, at same time, definitely saves time, right? So, yeah, yeah, Kathy. Yeah, I'm always giving away stuff. So, again, probably the next giveaway is like when I hit 100K. Um, how much people? We got 60. All right, I'll tell you what. If we get to, what is it? If we get to 80 people, I'm going to give away something else. That's crazy. We got 70 people in here. That's more, pe that's more people than when I do like my major giveaways. I, I caught y'all on a good night. Let me find out I need to go live on Friday nights. <laughs> I've been following you for about three years. Enjoy your videos. Thank you, ATL. Shout out to Tyrone one time. Appreciate it. I got to visit my homegirl in, in, in uh, Georgia, actually, when this pandemic crap finishes. How y'all doing with this pandemic crap, man? How y'all doing with that? I can't wait till this is over, man. Ugh. But, you know, actually, I'm a homebody, but I do like to go out here and there to a bar or, you know, sit in a restaurant and eat because I ain't doing all that stuff now. I ain't. just started watching. Okay, yeah, for those that just started watching, I'm just here just chit-chatting with you. I gave away a three-quart pressure cooker um, just because, um, and I'm just, I'm just, uh, just chit-chatting with you. I asked the group what, what they want to see me cook next and such and so forth. Don't like having some freedom. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this, this COVID has taught me that I've been quarantined for years <laughs> because I mean, I have I don't really do much more except I might have like a lady friend over more, but um, as far as stuff that I can't do, I mean all I do all I do is like go to Walmart or whatever to buy food to cook for you guys, and then maybe go out on the weekend to wherever wherever wherever. But I was like, let me find out I was on quarantine all this time. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right, Tiffany? It's crazy. But it's all good. I, I learned that about myself. People will complain, and I'm like, you know, like people will complain like the first month. I'm like, well, I'm good. But at this point now, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I need a vacation, actually. I would I would have went, I would have taken a couple of weekend vacations by now if it wasn't for this. I've been working from home nine years. The only thing I miss is going to the grocery store. And getting everything in one trip. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't really fear going to the grocery store too much. I try and stay away from the small mama and papa ones. I think Oli would be the smallest um, grocery store that I would go to. But I'm more like a Walmart food lion. And, I, and it seems to be pretty good. But I'm going to tell you something crazy. I'm 65. Okay, that's cool. Y'all still with me. Um... When we get down to like 40 something, I'm going to drop off because I, I don't want to bore y'all because I could just talk all night. Now, I'm one of those people. I just get lost in the sauce and three hours will pass. And we're talking from everything from the COVID to like my grandma. <laughs> all right. Oh, Ray Lux, what's up? I see you. I go once a week and gross. I'm in the grocery store like three times a week. My wife just canceled the trip to what? Yeah, yeah, man. I am not trusting no planes. I'm not trusting Amtrak. I'm not trusting none of them things. Now, I drive, and I'm thinking about driving, you know, me and AJ going to Florida. Because when we go to Florida, we don't, we don't really go much places anyway. We just go to grandma's house and just chill. You know, grandma cooking all the time. So, can't leave... Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, and where my parents live is even worse. <laughs> Probably when I get to Florida, I'd have me and AJ would have to quarantine for 14 days. We're supposed to be on a I know, man. Cruises, that's deadly. Mm. 
I hope they cancel all of them. Everything I uh, swear next day. No, it's good. Yo, I'm going to tell y'all something real talk. It was like two. Tell me if y'all. Wait, let me read what Cooking with Doug. You should try some. What? Quesadillas. Whether they will. Okay. I'm going to look into that. I'm going to look into that. But I'm going to tell y'all something real talk. I don't know. When was this? This was in May. It was a Friday night. And I started to feel sore all over my body. And Saturday morning, yo, I felt sore the whole, Saturday and Sunday, I felt sore the whole day. And then Monday, I woke up and I felt better. And by the evening, I felt completely better. Like, I, I remember saying to myself, by Tuesday, if I feel like this, I'm going to go get tested. That junk was crazy. Did any of y'all feel that? You ever wake up with, like, your whole body sore for no reason? Like, it felt like, you know, someone had a gun to my head and said, lift up this car, and you have to lift it up to the best of your ability. And he told me that for, like, an hour. That's how sore I was. And I ain't lift up nothing. I ain't do anything. And, and I was sore for two days and a half. My whole body, my throat was a little sore, but not sore. And I was like, man, Lord have mercy. <laughs> no more at your age, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's crazy. But I, I remember when um, I took AJ to get his hair cut and I told this story and this guy said, you know, I've heard a lot of people say that. No, not too afraid to feel it. Uh, okay, I hear you. But that's crazy, though. This stuff is crazy. But hopefully they'll come up with a vaccine or whatever they're going to do. And I don't know. Thanks for your videos. Peace out. All right, Joey. I pre appreciate you. We're we 32 minutes in. We'll go to we'll go to 45 minutes and then we'll peace out. If you eat out... You should try Stephanie. Eddie, I live off of Random and Roll. What you mean? I know about Stephanie's. I could do 80 cartwheels and I'll be at Stephanie's. I'm between the ABC store and um, Vandalia, Eddie. I, yeah, I'm right there. Um, you're getting old, Eddie. Every day you ask for. <laughs> That's funny. I am getting old. Well, I'm 45. I ain't, I'm not old, but I ain't young. Yeesh, even with a vaccine. Um, yeah, of course. Of course. The vaccine there just means it's less likely to take you away. That's all. There's plenty of people with, with flu vaccines that, you know, you know what can happen. Got to hit the clock. Take care. I appreciate everyone joining. Thank you, Fuzzy. I appreciate you, brother. Is Stephanie's a good, yeah, Stephanie's, let me tell you about Stephanie's though. And shout out to Stephanie's, one of my coworkers back in the days when I used to work at Citibank, I used to work at a call center and I used to have to sell stuff on the phone. That's probably why I like, well, never mind. That's another story. But um, one of my coworkers there, she's actually one of the head, whatever you call it, waitresses or whatever, food, whatever. Um, but let me tell you about Stephanie. Food is good, but you better take some time because they're slow. You're going to get in there. It's going to take them 10 minutes to even give you the menu. No, not 10 minutes. It's going to take you a couple minutes to get the menu. And when you order, it's going to take, it could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes, 20 minutes to get your food. But it's worth it. The only other problem I have with Stephanie's is the portion. I've never, and I'm not like a huge eater. But you ain't never walking home with leftovers from Stephanie's. Food is the bomb, but your portion, you're not gonna, if you're mediocre hungry, you're not, you're not gonna have any leftovers. And that's my only problem. And they're not, their prices are a little, I wouldn't say high, but it's not, it's not cheap. But other than that, it's dope. Like when my friends come from out of town, they're going, they wanna go to Stephanie's. That's the first thing they come when they touch down, Stephanie's. So it, it, it's a great place. 
Michelle, what's going on? Where we at? We at 35 minutes, so we got 10 minutes left. I appreciate everybody coming in here. Make sure you hit the like button. Let YouTube know we're in here. So before we go, any other things you want me to cook? Any other guests you'd like to see me cook with? I know y'all said the Blackstone. I think I'm done. I'm thinking I'm done with the um, the indoor smoker. I'm praying that somebody else, like a bigger company, makes one. Thanks for the chat. Sis M, I appreciate you. I'll catch you in the group. What type of cuisine? It's soul food. So like when I go, my favorite, it's not even on the menu. I get like beef tips with white rice and I think uh, they get, a, you know, some type of gravy with it. And I think they give me cabbage, sauteed cabbage, breville oven. I don't have a breville oven. The breville ovens, that's old news. I get new stuff, so I, I don't, that's old. So my oven right now is June. I may get the new Ninja oven just to check it out, but I have the June oven. It's a smart oven. And uh, yeah, Breville's old news. Um, let's see. You checked out that. Yeah, I done like, <laughs> I checked out the quiz not smoking now. Nah. No, I, I've checked it out online. I don't have it, but I've checked it out. Um, but I don't think I'm waiting for like a newer one to come out, one that they make now. More like is that? I think I looked at it briefly though. Is that smoker like the um, Presto though, or is it can do? I was looking at you know what I was looking at though. Um, Gourmet got a, a smoker too. I was looking. They got a pressure cooker smoker. But I read the reviews say it was trash, so I ain't I ain't get it. I was gonna get it if the reviews was good. I was gonna get it because Gourmet got a pressure cooker smoker. I was like, that's gangster, but the reviews are all bad. So I was like, I don't know. you can smoke in the Ninja Fruity. We smoke salmon. It works. Maybe not as good as a smoker. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Will you pressure cook it? I so Zef. Well, however you pronounce your name, Cole. I'm gonna call you Cole. So when you do it in a ninja food, just for everyone watching, when you smoke in a ninja food, how do you do it? Are you pressure cooking? Are you slow cooking? What how are you getting the smoke to go? What are you what exactly are you doing? Sean DeMilla, good night. I see you in the goofs, boo. The camp what is it? The camp chef woodwind wiper? I don't know what that is. I'll look into that. I don't know what that is. What do you think about the Ninja XL that's coming? Um, I have, what is that? Is that the, you're talking about the dual? Lucky, are you talking about the dual um, basket one? You pressure cook it. Okay. So when you pressure cook it, do you, how are you putting the chips in? Are you putting it in foil? Are you, are you sitting on top of the water? Are you sitting on top of the food? Are you putting on the rack? How are you doing it, Cole? Doug, don't waste your money if you, if folks, you know, say it's trash. Yeah, 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 true, true. Of course, guy, of course, of course, of course. I know that. I know that. You place liquid smoke on the bottom. But, oh, liquid smoke? Cole, come on, man. Liquid smoke and real smoke are two different things. Liquid smoke is okay, but it is nothing like real smoke. It's okay, but it's not like, if, so if I took something in my, my outdoor grill, my outdoor smoker, and I put something, I soaked a steak in liquid smoke, that's two different tastes, but I understand that. I thought you'd use chips in your in your ninja food. Camp Chef beats it by a lot. Okay, well, we'll look at that. Nothing beats, yeah. Traegers are good, but I, I'm not that into it like that. I, I, yeah, those are a bit pricey. 
It would have to, I, I don't know. I'm not convinced with those yet. But a lot of people that are um, very much into grilling have those triggers. And so I know that they're good, but I don't think I'm, I'm kind of new to the, to that. Tell me how is your awesome son? AJ's good. He's with his mom this weekend. I try and do these when he's not here so he can have his freedom <laughs> to do whatever he wants and make as much noise as he wants. But AJ's doing good though. Um, I took him over his mom's house around four o'clock today. So he's doing good. He's, uh, his birthday's coming up. He'll be 10 in a few weeks. <clears throat> AJ's doing good. He'll be 10 in a couple weeks, y'all. So yeah, let's see. All right, so we got five minutes left. I appreciate y'all. 52 people still standing here. Make sure y'all hit that like button. And for those of you that are watching the replay, I appreciate y'all. I bet you are. I try. I try, sister. I think a girl would be more challenging. Because <laughs> I'm like a big kid, you know what I'm saying? Because all kids like to do is play the video games, which, you know, as a kid, I was a big video game person. <clears throat> but... Yeah. Soak some chips in the water about 30 minutes and use the tray to smoke. Okay. Yeah. Because, I mean, a boy, you know, if it's the same sex, it's just easy, right? You could just, it's easy. It's not, it's a challenge, but it's not a challenge. Like, you know, with a boy, he's getting out of hand. I just pick him up and say, if you do it again, I'm going to drop you. <laughs> Can't do that with a girl. Um, just notice you are on. Like, so, thank you. Thank you. Shout out to Claudia one time. Well, it's not his birthday yet, but it's coming up. But I appreciate it. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, give me some other things that you want to see me cook if you have any in mind. We got three minutes left. I kind of want to pick your, you guys' brains just to give a feel of what my fans want me to do. Oxtails? I could do oxtails again. Shoot, I could do some smoke oxtails. Yeah. That sounds good. Eggplant and zucchini. Okay. I could do that in the air fryer. That'd be cool. I'll try the chip smoke method and let you know how it comes. Yeah, I appreciate that, Cole. Yeah. Do salmon in the pressure cooker. I'm allergic. Country style ribs, please. Okay. I could do that. Meatloaf. Mmm, smoked meatloaf. That sounds good. If it works, I'll send I'll send you my recipe. Okay, that works. So send, listen, if y'all got a recipe, please send it to me. I'll even shout you out in the video. It's nothing. Glenda, what's up? I see you. Anything in a crowd fight is awesome. I know that's right. Let's get some cauliflower fried rice. Okay, for sure. For sure. You should cook breakfast omelets for me on the Blackstone with some hash browns. I know that's right. Chicken and rice. Okay. Did someone say chicken and dumplings? Yeah, someone said that earlier. I'm definitely doing that. I forgot about that. People love that. You know, I'm not a big, I can make it. I'm not a big fan of chicken and dumplings for some reason. Like, it's just okay to me. And I've had it various places. Cracker Barrel, people, you know, relatives, um, people's house. Uh, I, just, I don't know why. But people love it, so I'll do it. Uh, Ninja Foodie or the grill. I have one I need to cook. Beans and rice. Okay, I'll do that. Beans and rice, that's cool. Wings, wings, wings. <laughs> I know, right? As much as wings videos be on YouTube, people, y'all still want more wings. 
I bet there's a million wings videos on YouTube. Holly, what's good? I see you. Holly, have you tried the Beyond? The Beyond Me? No, I haven't. I haven't. I, I, I believe it causes cancer. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But no, I, I, I need to try it. I, instead of trying it, though, I would like to make it. I think I'm going to try and make it. I think the closest thing I've made, I, back in the days, I made a black bean burger. And that was cool. Jambalaya, okay. I don't think they have where Doug lives. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what that is. I know they have it in Texas. Doug said he never... Uh, yeah. Beyond Meat is awful. I've heard it's pretty good. I just don't trust it. Like, what is it? You know what I'm saying? It's like turkey bacon. Like, what is that? I don't trust it. Turkey, like, I, de <coughs> I definitely want, you know, I haven't done turkey wings on camera. I've done enough turkey legs. My turkey leg videos don't do well. Y'all don't like my turkey legs. <laughs> I do turkey legs that don't do well. But I'm going to do turkey wings, though. It's plants. Oh, okay. So they say, Karen, they don't look like no plants. Right, right, Tiffany, right. Next thing you know is part Goodyear tire and... um. Uh, uh, shoe shine <laughs> with plants mixed together. Air fried turkey legs. Okay. I'm getting ready to go. Okay, I appreciate you, Case. Yeah, and I'm getting ready to go too, guys. So thank you guys. And again, cr congratulations to Dante. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. For winning this pressure cooker, I'll be sending this out to you. Monday through FedEx. So if you are in my group, if you haven't reached out to me, go ahead and do that. And um, I'll be doing a video for you guys tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'll be doing something in the air fryer though, for sure. Um, and then Sunday, I will be doing a video probably on my Blackstone. I got to do some more Blackstone videos, y'all. But again, I appreciate you. Love you guys. Remember, Hit that bell on my videos, support the kid. Anytime you see my videos come up, just even if it's something that you don't eat, just give it a view, give it a thumbs up. And that's how you support me. I appreciate all of you. And I'll see you, the next time you probably see me live is when I hit 100K. Um, but other than that, I'll see you in the groups or I'll see you on my next video. All right, love you guys, later.